As if 2020 could not get any worse, now a beloved Texas institution could be on the verge of closing its doors. Yes, the parent company of Luby's moving forward with plans to liquidate and dissolve the company altogether. Many of you have posted your Luby's memories on social media since the story first broke yesterday. Taisha Walker talked with some of those customers today. 2020 has delivered yet another devastating blow. Houston-based Luby's Incorporated says it's liquidating all of its assets. This is really sad. You know, Luby's has been an institution in Texas forever, and I grew up going every Sunday after church to come to Luby's. Luby's has fed Texans for more than 70 years. Some have eaten at the cafeteria-style restaurant for as long as they can remember. I was in a high chair. How about that? Making a mess. It's been 40, maybe more. That's 40 years for Ann Beeson. I go to it because I love their fresh vegetables, and this was really good. This is my last time to go, so it's kind of sad. Though customers can't get enough of their favorites. Oh, I've always liked the cod and all that and the green beans, and yeah, it's good stuff. I got fried fish at uh, the Lumen Platter. Luby's restaurants and their Fuddruckers burger chain have been struggling during the pandemic. Sales at Luby's fell 75% in their financial quarter ending in June, while sales at Fuddruckers dropped 91%. 1% according to CNN. In a statement, Luby says it's liquidating all of its assets from 147 restaurants and will use that cash to pay its stockholders. I said, well, I've only been there twice before. Might as well go one more time before they go out. Customers say it sounds like the end of a Texas institution. If Pappas can't make it work, who can? If they switch to a more traditional restaurant style, then maybe they could survive, but that's not the Luby's that they've told me about. hope for Luby's. Luby's tweeted out just a short time ago today saying that they still have 80 restaurants open and serving food just like the one right behind me. They say they plan to be here today during the holidays and beyond. Reporting live in Northwest Harris County, Taisha Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.